Hello. Um, today I'd like to introduce the LiveScribe Smart Pen. This is the Echo model. Um, you will see in your bag you you have uh, the Smart Pen and then also a charging cable. Um, if you look at the Smart Pen, you'll see that it has a microphone and a speaker on there. You just push the power button to turn it on. You'll see the screen and you will see the time and then also the battery life. On the top of the pen you'll see a headphone port for listening with uh, head standard headphones and a USB port which is used for charging. So this cable goes straight into there and yeah, that's how you can charge it. You can use a standard phone charger or a computer, anything that's going to ex accept a standard USB for charging. Um, on the top of the pen you'll have a cap, you pull the cap straight off, you'll see the pen there, and then also on the end, you can't really see it, but it uh, has a little special camera there, and that camera is designed to see these little tiny dots that are printed on the pages of the LiveScribe notebook. Okay cameras of course not going to pick it up but um, it kind of has this bluish color because there's these little tiny dots and it can see that and it can respond to it so if I tap here this notebook is available for use on your smart pen it gets the pen synced up with this notebook here and we don't need to do that uh, again unless we had an additional notebook. So it's usually just once per pen and notebook. Um, I'm going to open it up to the first page here and we'll see the standard um, buttons and options and things on the inside cover of the notebook. Um, myself being left-handed, the first thing I'm going to do is tap here. It will have display orientation and you'll see right now the screen is pointing away from me. If I push left-handed we see that it's now pointing towards me. So whether you're left or right-handed the options are there. Um, we also have display. Uh, you can change the brightness there if you want. Um, we'll cycle through dim to dark bright so I'll keep it on bright so we can see it hopefully as good as we can um, there's different options here the calculator uh, is above here if you tap on there it will respond um, one of the most important things on this page is uh, if you look at the storage if we tap once on there it will tell you in megabytes if you tap again will show you in time. So right now that's 94 hours, 59 minutes, which is about right. Uh, your time should be somewhere around 94 hours. Um, so that's for a, a full, two gigabyte pen, which most of our pens are. Um, and then if you click on audio settings, it will cycle through those settings. So low, medium, and high. So if it's on high, you'll see the 94 hour mark which we should have for an empty pen okay um so yeah i won't go over all the options on this page um, if you're not hearing anything on your pen you make, make sure that your volume is set up i have mine on maximum right now um, if you want to mute the pen that's totally fine then you won't hear all the uh, annoying little beeps and boops in the class um which you know as long as you're used to the pen and know, you know, when you look at the screen, it will say recording on it. Um, just keep an eye on that and using mute is fine. You'll still get your recording when you do that. So, um, the main buttons that we'll be using for your notes will be at the bottom of every notebook page. And if you look through the notebook, you'll see that there's the same buttons on every page. Okay. So, the essential buttons we're going to be using are the record and pause and stop buttons there, and I'll go over these in just a minute here, okay? But key thing for every 
recording is to hit the record button before you begin. As we do that, we'll see the screen change on the pen. Okay, so I hit record, it's recording on the pen. And as I write something, I'm gonna just do test. One, two, three. Okay, so I wrote test one, two, three, and that's all I need for my test recording. I'm going to hit stop down at the bottom. Okay, and now to play back my recording, all I need to do is tap on that. Test. One, two, three. Okay, so I wrote test one, two, three. And, and if I tap different places, It will go to that point in time. You'll see the timeline on the pen itself. I'm going to stop myself there so I'm not talking. So you can command the playback using the pause and the stop there. Um, again, key thing, hit record at the beginning of any lecture and hit stop at the end of the lecture. Then you'll have the whole lecture recorded. Um, if there's any gaps in there that you don't want to record, you can hit pause and by using pause it will keep a continuous recording um, for your whole lecture but you'll be able to still pause it for little gaps um, when you don't want to record. At the end of the lecture you'll hit stop and that's like your save and close for that file and that timeline. Okay, so by using the jump button you'll be able to um, move around in your recording. So right now I see I have a 23 second recording. If I play this back, let's see, it's kind of hard to do that. Here. It's at 12 seconds. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back. It jumps 10 seconds back. Okay. Similar, we have a position bar. Tapping anywhere in that line will take you to somewhere in that timeline on the pen. This is another way you can actually go to the very beginning of the, pen, of the recording. Okay, so I hit record. It's recording on the pen. Go in the and middle. One, two, three. Or wherever you like. Um, playback speed is a fun one. If we click on the plus, it will speed up. The recording. Each time we do that, we'll see the notch increase to the to the right, and it will get faster and faster in playback. So I'll go ahead and try that. Test. One, two, three. Okay, so I wrote test one, two, three, and that's all I need for my test recording. I sound like a chipmunk, and you can set it back to normal speed by clicking in the middle. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, the bookmarks, I kind of skipped this one because this one's a little bit more uh, involved. Um, this is something that you can use in the class. Uh, if your teacher says something really important, you can just hit that star and it will leave a, like, a little notch in your timeline. Okay. Um, once you have bookmarks in there, you'll be able to use these buttons to jump around between the different bookmarks. So let's do a quick example here. Um, I'll go back to this one here. Test. I'll hit the bookmark star. One, two, really three. quick, there's a. Okay, so I, wrote test I get one, two, a little three. notch. And you see it right there. I need for my test recording. I'm going to hit stop down at the bottom. So I have that bookmark. If I want to go back to that bookmark, I would use the left star now. So there it is. So that that bookmark feature works when you're doing the playback, like I just did, or if again, if you're sitting in class and your teacher says something important, you can make it right then and there. Um, so yeah, those are the basics for the smart pen. Um, that's really all you need to know. If your pen is like starting to maybe get a little bit dry. Uh, sometimes it'll get like 
kind of petering out or whatever, your pen is running out of ink. Okay, if you need to get new ink, you can just pull the cartridge straight out. It comes out really easy. Um, you can get another ink cartridge, and we can put that right back in there like that. Um, one key thing that is important to remember is anytime you're writing in the notebook and you don't have a recording attached to it, you should write with a pencil or maybe a blue pen or something else so that you know that the black ink, like we just did, has a recording attached to it, but then anything else that you do with another ink or pencil does not have a recording. Okay? Because like right now, if I just start writing with the same pen, you know, uh, notes, okay? If I write notes over here and then I try to tap on it later, it's not going to do anything and I can get confused. So that's why we use a different color. Okay, that should be it. Hopefully that helps you understand the Smart Pen a little bit more. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to uh, send them to myself. Okay, thank you very much.